the most exciting features about all of the Monarch buildings is the amount of daylight that we've incorporated. The biggest challenge for us was we didn't start soon enough. Everyone thinks that renewable energy costs more, but the difference that it makes in people's lives is substantial. We want to make sure that the air quality is very good for these students whenever they're here so they can concentrate on their work. Ladies and gentlemen, it's really wonderful to be with you today for the dedication of this uh, terrific building. And my family and I have a really soft spot in our hearts for the Monarch School. We've had family attend here. The faculty and staff here at Monarch treat students like individuals with unique educational needs, and that's of course what each and every one of them are. Your work to meet the emotional and social and academic needs of students here is a critical component, I think, of helping us build a better world. It's too bad we don't have more Monarch schools. Hi, I'm Mark Robinson with Momentum Bay. We're a comprehensive green management consulting and marketing firm headquartered in Houston since 2002. Today we want to share with you an amazing real life journey of a passionate school that has risen to the top as Texas's healthiest, most sustainable K-12 school and as one of the world's greenest special education schools, even in a down economy. Before we start, you may want to know a little bit more about how urgent this school's mission is. In just the last two decades, the prevalence of autism spectrum disorders in the United States has increased exponentially from 1 in 1,000 to 1 in 100 children. Autism is equally prevalent among all races, nationalities, and social classes, but occurs four and a half times more frequently in boys than girls. The Monarch School is a national leader in special education and therapeutic education for about 100 children ages 3 to 25 years old with neurological differences, many of which are related to autism, one of the four major developmental disabilities. For 13 years, the Monarch School operated from a strip shopping center and temporary buildings behind a church. Recently, the Monarch School was finally able to consolidate and expand in order to serve more families better. This video chronicles the integrated design and construction processes of the Monarch School's green team on its new 25,000 square foot chrysalis building, the first building of three planned for the Monarch School's new 11 acre campus. It's our hope that their surprising story about serving children with neurological differences, such as autism spectrum disorders and ADHD, will inspire other schools and even businesses to achieve an A plus in their green business, green building, and green power practices. The Monarch School was like every other business. They had a need, a vision, and a limited budget. The biggest challenge for us was we didn't start soon enough. We heard it would be 10 to 15 percent more to pursue LEED certification, so we just wanted to be green without certification. We later found out that wasn't true. We should have started sooner. Fortunately, the farther the team progressed in designing for students' special needs, the more we found our design strategies mirroring green building best practices. Dozens of studies and personal experiences over the past decade have showed us that greening America's schools can cost only 0 to 2 percent more up front and can yield as much as 10 to 20 times that investment over the life of the building. In the end, the expected energy savings alone yielded essentially a 14 percent discount or coupon on the project's design fees. Yes, 14 percent saved not 14% more. Two awards make the Monarch School's building unique. First, Chrysalis achieved gold certification under the U.S. Green Building Council's Lead for New Construction Rating System. This gold award is the highest recognition received by any public or private K-12 school in Texas to date. Second, coupled with its Lead Gold certification, the buildings designed to earn the Energy Star certification positions the Monarch School as Texas's most healthy and sustainable K-12 school. One of the, the most exciting features about all of the Monarch buildings is the amount of daylight that we've incorporated into the buildings. In Texas, one of the huge issues is heat gain, and so we've had to do it in a way that helps to reduce heat gain, and we've done that by adding very deep light shelves with angles that then bounce the light into the room rather than it directly coming into the room. So the, the light on the south and the west side of the building, if we let it in, the building gets hot. Way too hot. And then we have to cool it down. That's correct. 
The Monarch School has been a wonderful client to work with. They're really gung-ho about sustainability. They're really excited about LEAD. And when it came to the credit that we were going for within LEAD about education, um, typically that credit talks about having signage within the building and they engage the students on the signage. I just thought that was so wonderful. So what do contractors really pay attention to when they build green buildings? Well, whenever you're building a green building, you really want to focus on health and efficiency. One of the ways that we do that is through our IAQ plan, or indoor air quality plan. And it's important to keep the building clean from the day we begin working until the day we turn it over to the owner. Now, what we've decided to do on this project is to try to keep the building as clean as we can, cover our air ducts, and that way we can all we have to do at the end of the project is IAQ tests. So we should be able to pass the test without having to take two weeks or three weeks to flush the building. That's right. As long as we've kept it clean enough and we pass the test, then we're good to go and we get our point. Excellent. So we get to move in early. Especially for this project, since it's a school, we want to make sure that the air quality is very good for these students whenever they're here so they can concentrate on their work. So tell me about LEAD. Well, LEAD is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. We think that it's very important that we have LEAD accredited professionals on the job from a general contractor's perspective. What is a LEAD accredited professional? Well, a LEAD accredited professional is just someone who really understands the language of green building. So buildings get LEED certified and people get LEED accredited? That's right. Okay. While we were building the Monarch School's green campus, how did you get the whole team to speak green, whether it was Energy Star or LEED? The easiest thing was getting everybody excited about LEED. The hardest thing was making sure that we had the documentation for the commissioning process. We brought the subcontractors in, including the rest of our general contracting team, and had coordination meetings with us, the subcontractors, and the engineers. When everybody's on the same page in a lead project or a green project, then it makes things run much smoother. Everyone thinks that renewable energy costs more, but the difference that it makes in people's lives is substantial. It's the kind of opportunity you want to be a part of because of what the school does and because of what we do, providing renewable energy at a good price for institutions that are putting it to use. I have a cousin who's benefited from education of a school just like this in, in his life and so to provide be able to provide the power for the school and make a difference in lives this, this was a perfect opportunity I would argue that this structure behind us in, in part but many other things as well show that you have shown the perseverance in the fight for those values you've done it by effectively assisting students with special needs and you've done it by starting from a very sparse and humble beginning. Thank you all, thank you, may God bless you, and may God bless all of those with whom you are working to overcome their difficulties. Imagine how bright our future could be if Texas's nearly five million students at 10,000 plus private and public schools could perform just 2% or even 20% better and could avoid budget cuts by simply learning and playing in healthy, sustainable buildings with daylight, outdoor views, minimal toxic chemicals, efficient equipment, and much more. We hope that you enjoy this educational video and that it changes your life like it's changed ours. Would you do this again if you had to do it again? I'd do it again in a minute, and we're going to, with two more buildings, to have a whole campus that's going to be LEED certified and outstanding in the United States.